Hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna show you my gun collection. So a lot of you guys have been asking for it, so let's get to it. So the first line of defense in my house when I'm at home is right here, right next to me in my safe, in my gun safe right here. And this is a fingerprint gun safe from Liberty. And the first one that I have, and you guys have seen it before, is my Glock 19, fully customized by me. I have a red dot here, I have a flashlight just in case I need it, and on top of that, I have a threaded barrel for a suppressor. I like having a suppressor inside the house. You know how guns can be loud. Um, having a suppressor makes it so much easier and so much better. Um, this one right here has been fully customized by me. New trigger, undercut. I have done the grip as well. And I have capacity here for 15 plus one in the chamber. Now this one cost me about $2,000 to build. Just the gun itself is about $600 plus everything that I've done is about $2,000. Now let's go to my gun safe. So let's be clear here, everything has been safety checked so everything's safe to handle, nothing's in the chamber and I'm not gonna be doing this in the video. The next gun that I have here is my HK VP9 SK. I love this little gun. This one, HK to me is like the Mercedes Benz of guns. You know, it's a, it's a luxury gun manufacturer this one you can get it for around 700 bucks when i got it i love this one i love shooting this one it's very smooth it's very compact and this one's the size comparable to the glock 26 if you want to keep that in mind it holds about 10 and plus one in the chamber and this one's with the pinky extension the one that i have here is an all-time classic one of my favorites this is an all-american gun if you don't have this in your gun collection you really don't have it it's my 1911 this is a ruger uh, 45 lcp i love this thing it feels great it's great to shoot i mean the recoil is perfect and this one you can get it for around 800 bucks as well um very well made by ruger i'm very surprised um you know you can buy very like a Timber that is more expensive, but I think Ruger did an amazing job with this firearm and I'm totally not disappointed. I love it. It's very solid, very heavy, and it's a 1911. It's all American class. Now, um, I still have some more handguns, but I have one in my car, I had a, and I have two in the office. So before we get to those, I'm going to show you some rifles and shotguns that I have here. The first one is, of course, a pump action shotgun. This one is a 12 gauge Mossberg 535. I use this one a lot for clay shooting. Um, this one I got it for my birthday from my wife and I think it's about 400 bucks. Um, I love this one because like I said, I use it for uh, clay shooting. I've used it a lot for clay shooting actually. Uh, it makes the game a little bit harder in my opinion because every time after you shoot, you have to pump and then shoot again, especially when you have a true pair. The next one that I have, and this is my AR-15. I actually built this one myself, picked every single part myself to be able to build it. Um, this one cost me about, I would say 1500 bucks to build. It has a, a stock, adjustable stock. It has uh, vortex sights on it. Um, it has iron sights just in case these fail i can always flip it and use the iron sights spikes tactical lower receiver um i used a lot of the upper receivers receiver parts i got it from palmetto so you if you guys know anything about guns you know about palmetto and you know that they sell pretty good stuff in there and it's very affordable as well so yeah everything has been built by me for my uh, my taste and any, everything that I want. So yeah, for this one, I think I spent about 1500 bucks. Um, another one that I have here and that I built, but this one is not considered a rifle. This one's considered a pistol because it has no stock um, and it's shorter, so it has no stock. This one only has iron sights on it and I love the size of this thing. It's nice and compact and this one's a 300 blackout. So it does have a little bit more kick to it compared to my 223556 that I have there, but it is an amazing amazing little firearm and it's powerful and it's a pistol so it's a very it's very compact it's very easy to carry um i've used this one for hunting i've you know i have the sling right here i carry it around me for boar hunting this is perfect so yeah definitely one of my favorites this one i spent about 800 bucks to build this is one of my latest acquisitions and one of my favorite ones this is the ruger precision this is the uh, long range rifle that i have and this is a uh, 6.5 Creedmoor. Um, after we went hunting with my brother one time, um, he used one of, a, of the hunter's Creedmoors. And let me tell you, that thing was amazing. And after that hunting trip, I looked for one 
and I got this one. This one costs about two thousand dollars, and um, just the sight costs about another thousand bucks. So right here, it's just three thousand dollar gun, um, but. It is amazing. Um, adjustable stock, as you can see, you can adjust it to you know the cheek, the butt stock, and everything. Collapsible stock as well. You can fold it over. Um, the vortex uh, scope. What else? It comes with the kickstand in the front. I mean, th this thing is for long range hunting um, or target practice, and I love it. It's one of my favorite ones. And like I said, yeah. It's like 2,000 bucks and plus the, the, the scope is another 1,000 bucks. The next rifle that I have here, um, this was one of my first long range hunting rifles, is a 308, and this is the uh, Ruger American. And like I said, after I bought my 1911, I was very impressed with Ruger and everything they've done. So that's why I bought, you know, this one and the Ruger Precision. I thought that, you know, I was very surprised on their quality of stuff. This is a bolt action, um, has a, a Vortex sight on it. This is the Crossfire 2. Um, this one cost about 500 bucks and the sight was about 200 bucks, so 700 bucks total. Um, it's a great rifle, but it hurts. It's a 308, so if you guys have ever used a 308 bolt action, it hurts. But it has a nice accurate trigger that is very light and it just is right there. So it's perfect for hunting, but you know, if you can't take the recoil, I would use something different like a 243, or if you can buy a 6.5 Creedmoor, I would definitely go with a 6.5 Creedmoor. Um, so this is basically it, what I have here. I'm gonna show you one more that I have in the house, then we're gonna go to the car where I have one, and then we're gonna go to the office where I have Two more, so let's go. Now, I have several of these things around the house, so I'm not gonna show you where they're all at, but I'm gonna show you one of them. Um, it's basically one of these shelves right here. Um, it has an RFID card that I can use to open it up, and automatically this pops out. And from here, I have another pistol in here. This is another AR pistol that I have, but this one's a nine millimeter. So I can use a Glock 19 magazine on it. This one comes with 30, 31, I'm sorry, 31 in here. Amazing little pistol, also built in myself. And I use Palmetto as well for some of the parts. Never mind, majority of parts except the stock. I don't know where I got the stock from or the, the arm brace. It's not a stock because it's not a rifle. And it's, it is adjustable, so you can adjust it to however you want. There's an arm brace. And um, yeah, it barely has anything in the front and I love that design that I did. Um, and like I said, this one's easy to carry around too when you're hunting or if you just wanna have it in the car as a, a car gun, this is an amazing one to have. And this one I think I spent like 700 bucks on it and totally worth it. So like I said, I love it because it is a nine millimeter so I can have it in here. It's compact enough that I can carry it, put it in here, take it out when I need to. And I also have 30, 31 rounds in this and I can use the smaller ones with 15 rounds and make it look more sleeker All right, so now I'm in my car and this is where I have another gun before I used to carry the 1911 But um, I change it up all the time right now. I'm carrying my Smith and Wesson shield. You can get this one um, This is the like the first generation. Um, you can probably get it for like 200 300 bucks um, I got it when I got it. It was like about 400 bucks um, the new generation came out, so you can also get that one for around 400 bucks. All right, so I'm here in the office, and finally, the two final guns that I have is a Ruger LCP. This is a 380. I carry this one a lot in my pocket sometimes or when I'm wearing dress clothes, and this one goes for around 300 bucks. And the final one that I have is my Glock 43. Um, I love this little gun. Um, I did stippling on this one. I did the... Uh, trigger on this one um, and the threaded barrel as well as you can see um, I love this little gun It's one of my favorites It's very compact it has a light as well and it has a red dot if I were really wanted to use it I really don't use it but I love the flashlight in the front um, this one you can get it for around 400 bucks 500 bucks new plus all the customizations the trigger was about 100 bucks um, stippling job you know and all that so it's probably like 1500 bucks uh, total in work and parts and all that and 
and that's basically my gun video guys my gun collection i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you want to see other collection videos let me know i'll try to do them i think i'm going to do another um shoe collection of my shoes kind of like what jose did i'll have jose do a gun collection i might have maria do a shoe video or a shoe collection video so yeah if you want to see other collections or watch collections um jewelry collections something let me know leave a comment down below and i'll try to get it done for you guys so thank you for watching guys i'll see you guys next time